Yeah, working on the introduction, we did all of our work in Jamaica and in Miami. Uh, I worked with all Jamaican producers. I love Jamaican people. I love the music. I grew up on the music. I lived in the islands most of my life, and um, that's just where I connect with and, and resonate with. I had a great time. You know, we was uh, recording at Tough Gong, which is Bob Marley Studio in Kingston. Um, I really like working in Jamaica because um, just the vibe and the energy of the people is so vibrant and the people are just so passionate about music and, and just it's so natural. So it's just a, a very natural expression. I'm really grateful that I had the opportunity to re work with, um, you know, people in Kingston and, and in Jamaica on my whole entire project. You know, I plan to continue it like that. It, it gives the project a, a very organic and a very real feeling um, that resonates, you know, with the heart and with the mind. Man, I just love being in the Jamaica, man. It's just good vibes all the time, you know I mean? You know, everything's on point, you know? The overall vibe of my music is like feel good music, you know? I, I grew up in the islands, I had a hard life. When I listen to music and I play music, I just wanna feel good, I want the listeners to feel good. So that's the kind of music I make. My fans inspire me every day and to keep me going, keep me motivated. Um, connecting with my fans on social is really cool. I love hearing from my fans, all the feedback, the comments. A lot of people ask me questions, they wanna see what I'm up to, where I'm going next. The easiest way is to follow me on Instagram, follow me on Facebook, social media. Yakopo Music, follow me, send me a message, ask me a question. I love hearing from you guys. You know, I wouldn't be here without you. I need y'all. I love y'all. Thank you so much for all the support. My vibe, my story, touchdown. Come with me on my musical journey. My man has got a magazine of Playboy sitting on the joint and he is masturbating. You know what I mean? The, the bus has been going off the road because he's he's getting really excited. When I walked in with my husband, it took him aback. For some reason, he does not like new people and he doesn't like men. So when I came in with my husband, um, I think that was like a rare flag. If I kill another police, don't bring back my son who I love. So if that don't make any sense, what I should try to do is try to save another youth's life. Kanye made this crazy speech about people naming their kids after them. Like, they're already little kids named Kanye and Nas, and like, we need to do something that let people know that if they're gonna carry that name, it comes with something. And Nas, who's really funny, um, is, is like, uh, is looking at me like, what's this guy talking about?